this guy. It Hold on. Once you're in there. Officer Charles in charge is back. My name is Robbie, and uh, I brought this uh, retired. And bag, Alabama Sheriff uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit. It lays frame and uh, scares everybody in its way on the highway. <laughs> and it's perfect for our police cart. Shout out EOS Fitness, right? EOS. Here, hop in there. I don't know, the last felon fucking boat. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Yo, this, this is, is it. Not we're, comfy. Take, we're taking you away. No, it's pretty bad. With the limo. I'm gonna do the bars too. Yo, How'd innocent. that feel? How'd that feel? I'm innocent, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You look suspect. Oh. So all the way from Alaska, you own Glacier Garage, right? I do. Yeah. yeah. And you sponsor Nick's Drift Car. I do. Yeah. And now you're here. But you were the beginning. Of, you were there for the beginning of the crazy cars, right? Was building them in Nick's Garage and just yeah, sending it a little R and D. Now look what it's become. It's crazy. We need to come to Alaska. We do. Yeah. We're gonna plan it. I want to go to Alaska. I'm going. Do you see that thing? Is that near you where they launch the cars off the cliff? Oh my god. <laughs> it's about six hours from us, but. That was wild. It was wild, yeah. Yeah, we went to that event. Super dope. On the road again. You're not driving. Throw me the keys. Try to follow the. Comedians in cars with coffee. <laughs> What's that? Yo, why do I throw up at every shoot? Welcome guys to CNC Comedy Show in cars only. Couple boys in cars getting coffee and filming. I think we are getting fouled by an undercover. Are you gonna film the undercover? everyone just got out of the back of a undercover cop car from Robbie who was right behind me Robbie was right there so he picked us up we were doing crazy things on the side of the street but it was all worth it because what we have for you today to reveal is a stage 5 taxi garage crazy crazy cart undercover police edition so this one is a shout out to you this is for Cody Cody's actually a police officer all the way in Hawaii, believe it or not. So this cart, built here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, is going to make its way all the way to Hawaii. But. So Cody did a really, really cool concept with, you know, incorporating the police, you know, vibes and, and concept in the cart. So we did a Prismatic Powders gloss black, and then it's got black jack, which is a matte black. So essentially, we've got this, this two sheen finish uh, that even goes well with the seat. And then you come under here, the matte black taxi garage box, 48 volt, 1000 watt controller, our LED kit. And then we've incorporated these suction, which they're really cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Super strong. <laughs> Put the LEDs on while we're at it. Oh yeah, so we'll flip, flip the LEDs on. What color are they on? Yeah, it's probably- They should be on red, oh, marked yeah, as red. They're on red, they were on flashing. I'm flashing. So, anyway, we like to be left on red, so that's where we are. But, basically, this is our standard Taxi Garage Stage 5. You guys already know most of it, because uh, majority of you guys are new to, you know, not new to the channel. We had a call in, everyone, if you want to know, or probably already know, Merkman, Robbie. Robbie loves supporting his locals. Robbie's been, we've known Robbie for years, and Robbie picked up this gem of a car. So, what perfect timing for us to finish this XL Stage 5. Call Robbie, meet at our secret spot here, and reveal this cart for Cody. We are going to rip the cart around the cop car, and then hopefully we don't get arrested. Oh, so baby. We are, we are powered on. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, spicy. So the beautiful thing about the Stage 5 is it has the 1,000 watt motor and all the signature gusseting to make it stronger. But this thing, you know, does some nice burnout. Oh no! How did they both simultaneously fall off at the same time? They oh, no. got that, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. I got it, 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 I got it. Catch me if you can, officer. Did you do a, a maneuver? I just did it. I did a maneuver. You never know what's going to happen when you're filming. It was a cart chase. Yeah, yeah. back cars, police cars. Does that happen to your lights when you hit 65? No. So Thankfully, Cody, no. Cody, we're going to have to say uh, the lights are strong. They're, they're strong enough. But when you do a mock speed 360 coming out of a police chase, you go from marked to unmarked. So we're excited to send this car all the way to Hawaii for you. We appreciate your support. Uh, we Cody, also- This one is rad, man. And he's a big car guy. So we've talked a little bit, get a car collection, probably still has a lot of those cars, but everyone knows what's better these days than a drift car, a taxi garage drift car. Correct. Or a drift car that matches your car. Bring an idea to, for us to build. We appreciate you guys. Want to make it cool. Like to have fun. How are we going to one-up this one? Drop a comment in below. Let us know. What can we do? This is going to match his undercover. He's got, I think, a Chevy Suburban. Gloss black, matte black, gloss black, matte black. It's just... We've done it right. again. Robbie, come here. So yeah, tell us a little bit about the car. So it is a retired 2013 Alabama Sheriff Supervisor, uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit. And uh, it did not come like this. Actually, when I bought it uh, from a dealership in the Space Coast, they specialize in selling retired police cars, emergency vehicles, and RVs, oddly enough. So when I bought it, it had different uh, hubcaps, and I had the owner of the dealership swap it out for me. Even threw a coat of paint on the steelies, put the antenna on for me. And everything else you see, other than the spotlight, I added. So the right bar, front and rear, uh, this giant push bar was already on there. Uh, had to do a limo tint on there, and then it had, actually has the cage. Uh, it still has the AR-15 mount, had a non-lethal shotgun mount taken out. And other than the air ride and everything else, it's just a legit police car. It's a functional daily driver. And really, it's just a marketing tool. So it's an airlift performance 3B kit, and it's for the Dodge Charger. And it's actually the third Charger I've had this kit on. It's a plug and play. Uh, labor was a bit more involved, obviously, with the cage and everything. So it's got the dual compressors, the five gallon seamless aluminum tank. Um, still have spare tires, giant police car battery. And so this is how they do it in Alabama. Um, if you look at any Broward Sheriff or Florida Highway Patrol cars, they have actual like vinyl seats, but this is just a bench. And there's a little cubby for your feet back there, so it's a seat in a cage and the little divider. And there's no no door handle. Yeah, $25 option. I have the window sticker and uh, removes door handles, locks, everything. Wow. So when they retire these cars, uh, this was all completely gutted out. It was a spaghetti mess with the uh, wires. And I have a friend who's a dealer for uh, Phoenix Lighting. He got me the controller, um, I got this filler plate here, so all the guts in here that control the lights. These are the actual lights, they're called visor bars, and they actually attach to the visor here. Wow. Um, still has the, the red light, dome light and everything. Uh, where the radar controller was, I put the airlift controller, so you can just raise the car with the press of a button. Uh, have a laptop mount, and I took that off and put an iPad mount. It's just a very, very comfortable daily driver. It scares cool. everybody on the road. And, uh,